Welcome back to another episode of Success and Women. Today, we're going to be talking about asking. Asking? You know, do you ever get into a situation where sometimes you just expect or accept what's going on? One of the things that happened to me, Andrea, is that I was on a course back in 2012. I took this course. It was a lot of money and it was done through the Jack Canfield group. Jack Canfield is the chicken soup of the soul uh, gentleman. Oh. Anyway, he gave a course uh, for public speaking, but anyway, I uh, took the course. Well, I thought maybe it would give me a little bit more opportunity to get in front of the public, but right. regardless, I paid 15,000 US back wow. in 2012. Wow. It was a three week course given throughout the year. And at the end of the course, um, the two th there were two things that I pulled away from the course for the twelve thousand, uh, the fifteen thousand dollars that I paid, and one of the things uh, was to ask. Believe it or not, and I felt that the fifteen thousand dollars in the end was worth every penny for that course because it taught me to ask. One of the things that I don't know about you, Andrea, but there's a lot of times I've been afraid to ask. You know, whether it was for a pay raise, uh, a job, or even to ask somebody a prospect, I mean sales, and to ask people, you know, if That's they want to do business. Yeah, it's a lot of, big problem for a lot of people to ask, especially for a raise. <laughs> right. But what Jack had said, which was really profound <laughs> in a way that people don't think about, if you ask for something, What's the worst that's going to happen if they say no? You don't get it. But you never had it. <laughs> that's true. So, it's like if you ask for something, you're not going to go to jail. No. Matter of fact, you're not going to get fired. They're not going to demote you. I guess you just feel disappointed maybe. And some people might get angry and, and then not be able to function in their job. And, and it might also, um, now you can answer this, I don't know, like your boss might look at you differently, watching for things that you're not doing the same. I don't know, what do you think? So, it's interesting that you say that, and maybe that's what holds a lot of you women back. Yes. Because you're afraid of all these things that you think might happen, might happen. if you ask. Yeah. But what I found, because I started asking everybody for anything that I really wanted where before I would hold back and like he said you're no worse off I didn't have it in the first place I still don't have it but you know what was happening sometimes people were saying yes and all of a sudden doors started to open wow. I couldn't believe how such a little thing like just asking could actually give you a positive answer so that you're now better off than you were before you asked. Sure. Because most people are quite happy to, like say for example, that you um, asked maybe the most successful person in your office or your wherever your work environment, and you ask them to mentor you. Do you know how flattering that is for them? And you're thinking, oh, I don't want to bother anybody. Yeah. You know what? I mean, they're busy and that's why they're successful, yeah. but they're not going to want to help me. Yeah. It's amazing. If you get the right person, they're happy to help you. Right. But the thing that I found is that if they say, no, I'm really sorry, I, I can't, I just don't have the time or whatever else is going on. Well, you didn't have that anyway. And you exactly. can go on to the next person. And one of the things that I noticed when I was on vacation many, many years ago, I used, to, um, I used to go a lot of times to Jamaica. It was one of my favorite islands. It's still one of my favorite. I just haven't been there in a while. But one of the things I always thought about the Jamaicans is that they are amazing at asking. And if you ever talk to a Jamaican, especially if they're in any kind of sales at all, they don't even know what the word no means. Wow. And the rejection, phew, slides off their back. It's like next, 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 because they know there's always going to be another customer because 
if you've ever been to Jamaica, Jamaica is full of tourists. I mean, that's what we do. We go to the nice sunny climates and there's all kinds of souvenirs that you can buy. And if you go into those markets, Jamaicans will not say no, will not understand the word no. When you're saying no, they're asking you and they might ask you 20 times. And if you've touched this, say your bracelet, Andrea. Andrea's got this pretty bracelet on. Don't know if you can see it. Okay, so say she saw this in the market. The Jamaicans will actually make sure that they're going to keep asking her to buy this bracelet until she says, okay, it's just a matter of what the price is going to be. Yes, I have found that even on some other islands where they, uh, like you say, you pick up a purse or whatever and they'll say, you'll say how much, they'll say the price. And then when you go to put it down, they'll say, well, what would you like to pay for it? Um, and, you know, and then you go low, then they go, oh, no, 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 then the next price. So you, you get a happy medium. You're happy. They're happy and you walk away with the product. But yes, they do do that. They really yeah. haggle. And I have always said, like if I was an employer hiring salespeople, Jamaicans would almost be my first choice because <laughs> they don't know the word no and they don't take the rejection personally. And that's what a lot There's of us the do. There's and, the key. And you mentioned that, Andrew. You said sometimes you don't ask because you feel like someone is going to reject you and it's going to make you feel bad. Yeah. Those feelings are feelings that you make that's right. but that's what the Jamaicans have actually done away with they don't take it personally because it's not personal no it's not it's a matter of whether you really want it whether you really want to pay the price for it or it's nothing to do with the salesperson exactly so when you're asking for that raise that promotion actually ladies if you're single and you really would like to go out with this single guy that you know or girl or whatever it is and you want to ask them but you're too afraid they're going to say no you're not dating them anyway, so maybe they were thinking the same thing and were too shy. And until you approach them and actually ask if they're interested in going out for coffee or whatever, you never know. You never know. Well, I had a friend who actually did that. She, um, uh, she was single and uh, she always kind of liked this certain guy, and, but he was married and then... Uh, I know, but eventually he divorced, not because of her or anything, they just divorced. So about a month after she thought to herself, she had to go somewhere, I can't remember. She thought, you know what, I'm just gonna call him, you never know. She called him, he said, yes, they're married, they have a beautiful life together. And if she hadn't called, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, because he may not have known, he may have secretly he liked didn't her. Know. He didn't know yeah. until she called. Yeah. yeah. So there's so many, situations that we come across in life and asking is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself because again always remember you're no worse off if a person says no but you could be so much better off if they say yes exactly so if there's something you want to do to become more successful and actually we were talking about this on another episode andrea the lady from spanx when oh, she yes. was going and trying to promote her Spanx, she was asking everybody for that opportunity to present, you know, her item. And the thing is, she got no, 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 no. Well, she realized, so she never had that business. But one day somebody actually granted the interview right. and she was able to get in there, pitch it, they bought it, and now she's a billionaire, a self-made billionaire in America. I mean, that's unbelievable. But had she not asked, or when she asked and felt the rejection personally, she may have stopped. That's right, a lot of people do. They'll, they, they'll take, you know, no a couple of times and say, oh, maybe this isn't for me. But when you hear different people, like even like the movie Rocky, he, uh, Sylvester Stallone had wrote that and he brought it to so many different producers and they all said no no and then he said you know what I'm gonna do it myself and now look where he is yeah and I remember in that story because um, he was asking and pitching a lot and he took a lot of no's but he kept on asking but one uh, I remember one a little bit of a side thing but uh, somebody did want the movie they liked the script 
but they wanted to offer him money for the script, and he said, yeah, no. I want to be in it. He said, yeah. if I'm not in it, I'm not selling. And That's he right. was desperate for money. Yes. But he felt so confident in his story. And, and his ability and, to and, portray it. And his ability to portray it. And ladies, sometimes that's what happens in life. You know, maybe you will do, um, be asking the questions, but sometimes you settle even in asking the questions for something you really don't want. And then you're stuck in a place that you're not happy to be in. That's right. So yes, it's great to ask, but make sure that the answer you get suits the answer that you're looking for. Otherwise, keep on asking. Don't be afraid if you have 144 rejections, and I say that because that's how many rejections Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen got on the Chicken Soup of the Soul books. Wow. And you know how big that was, and still is today, and I don't even know how many books there are out there on the shelf, but he got rejected 144 times before finally somebody said yes. Well, that's inspiring. It is inspiring. But that doesn't, uh, you know, give you the strength to go out and ask. You know what? And it's kind of interesting because asking kind of, coincides with rejection mm -hmm. and a lot of times we don't want to ask because we feel like we take it personally if we feel like we are rejected or if you ask this person out and they refuse you feel like there's something wrong with you no you might not just be a match but if That's you right. think about your success could be just around the corner mm -hmm. but you got to keep on asking, asking. right because you never know what person you're going to meet i actually was um watching this video, I, you know, I watch a lot of videos, um, but I was watching this video recently and it was with um, Darren Hardy. He does a little thing every day and then sometimes they're a little bit longer, but actually he was invited to a, a, a party. Now, this is something most of us won't get invited to, but it was in Fort Lauderdale, a boat show, and it takes place every fall. And a friend of his, that's probably one of the top luxury boat salesman asked him and his wife to a party and it's not that he really wanted to go but he ended up going to this party and met this amazing 94 year old billionaire that was not just very wealthy but very humble and this man gave even a guy that was as successful as Darren Hardy is some advice what he should do to actually be better and if Darren hadn't have said yes to this because somebody had asked him, he did go, and then mill around and find somebody that he was introduced to, a, a very wealthy man, and ended up in the conversation like by asking him, maybe he asked him, you know, what's the secret of your success? And they got into this conversation, and he said it was so enlightening because this man was so open and willing to share what he did, but he had a, a ritual every Sunday that he, he did to prepare himself for the week, even today when he worked. And ladies, we're probably gonna talk about that in another episode because sometimes when you develop some good habits, it's actually gonna help you in your success. Yes. But today, just focusing on asking. asking. And whether or not it's asking your kids something that maybe you've been afraid to ask them, maybe because you don't wanna know the answer, <laughs> but the thing is, it could be in anything, in relationships with, like I said, your family, but outside, externally, with clients, with, matter of fact, this is the one thing that's um, quite interesting. As I've told you, I'm in sales. And a lot of times when I'm on an appointment, because of going to Jack Canfield's training and asking, when I'm in a situation now with clients, the worst they're gonna do is say no, but now I go for it all. I just say, you know, are you gonna buy this with me? Are you gonna give me this or whatever it is? Nobody has ever been offended and nobody said, Linda, you're being very aggressive. You know, we're gonna leave and not be your client if, you know, if you keep asking us. They just take it in good spirit because I'm in business to sell. Exactly. And I have a service that, you know, can provide somebody with really good stuff. So why not why ask? Not? But I was- And offer it to them because they might not know to ask. Exactly. Or know of it, so with you bringing it up you know how many times do um I, i've been somewhere and someone say oh would you like this oh i didn't even know you offered that and uh, yes we do and oh okay right. let's do it <laughs> and so you always need to be that person that's doing the asking yeah so 
you could be asking i mean obviously people are going to ask you things but just don't be afraid because don't limit your success because you're afraid that asking might make you feel rejected because it's not personal right and as much as we feel like it it is it's not right and you've got to convince and believe yourself you're a great person with a great whatever it is that you're trying to offer and know that people might want what you're offering exactly. except like you said andrea many times the other person doesn't know and even when you go places and people ask and you say wow i didn't know you had that yeah i didn't know i could get that here right it benefits both of you exactly exactly you have to be open yeah yeah and teach your kids to ask because even for example if you have children in school and they get a grade that's kind of not to what they thought they had earned based on the study and everything yes like uh, like i always said to my children too and you know if they didn't get a, a grade that they were expecting i always say to them ask the teacher say um what could i have? not to don't be aggressive don't yeah. be like what the hell yeah. no what could i have what could i have done to get a better grade is there something that i missed you know, taught, and the teachers love that when you ask them questions or ask for the help. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, talk to them because that's what they're there for. I mean, okay, there are some teachers that are just miserable, but most of them, like my my daughter, who's a teacher, you know, she she loves that when they ask questions and they they feel. I feel teachers become teachers because they want to help. Yep. And yep. so if, if they feel that they're needed, it, it helps them and then it helps you. And they're more than willing to show you how you could have got a better grade. Because you're showing now an interest in what it is. Like, so if a teacher's teaching, they wanna know it's coming across. And if your child isn't getting the grade that they thought they put the study in for, right. yeah, what could they have done differently? What, what could I have done? to get a better grade, like, and again, what did I miss? Yeah, mm -hmm. and people really do like to help. And that's what this show is all about. Women helping women. We wanna help you succeed in whatever it is. And whether it's parenting, being a better um, spouse to your partner, um, just being a better friend, being better at your job, getting a better job. There's things that we can help you with and other women, so don't forget to sub subscribe, <laughs> like, share and you know just keep on talking about it to your friends so that maybe you can get them to listen in because every week we're trying to give you some kind of great inspiration some tips maybe there's something that i have done or linda has done that you might um, uh, put into your uh, life and it might help or like i always say there's other women out there that might need to hear what we're saying so maybe you didn't take away something from this episode but you know somebody who might so it's great to share with your friends yeah because you know what we're all in this together we all make mistakes right but if we can share our experiences with you and help prevent some of them and maybe some of them they won't but you're going to learn because every failure as we talked about before mm -hmm. is one step forward exactly. in whatever it is you're trying to do so until next week this is andrea have a great week ladies and myself linda wishing you all the best this week